Hi everyone, this is John from DSM Graveyard here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, making a quick video about the Balance Shaft Eliminator that is uh, so popular among the 4G63 engines. Uh, so this video is going to be part one of two. We're only going to do the oil pump here today. Um, so we can really, really show a detailed uh, instructions of what we do. Uh, so this is our brand new uh, 6 volt uh, OEM oil pump. And uh, I've already taken the back casing off. Now when you buy these new from Mitsubishi, they do not come with these steel gears, but we have, we have some here ready and prepped to go in here. So what we're doing today is uh, we're going to be removing the balance shaft that usually comes out of the back side of the oil pump, and we're going to be plugging uh, the other belt-driven oil shaft where there used to be a sprocket here. Um, let me show you the kit first. The kit is going to come with five pieces. Um, it's going to come with three bearings which we're going to use on the block later. So I'm going to set those over here. And then it comes with the plug and it comes with the stubby shaft. Um, so the first thing we do is we take the small gear, okay, which is uh, this little guy, and basically we put it right on the stubby shaft here and then we fasten it down with our uh, just a 12 millimeter bolt. Um, this bolt we'll probably start including in the kit because you will need it. Um, I believe. Actually, you don't. That that will be on the oil pump when you take it apart. Uh, so, anyways, that's kind of what you'll have is just little assembly. A good way to uh, to judge is um, there is a little dot on it. The dot's going to face up on the stubby shaft if you're setting it straight like that. And there's a dot on this bracket too uh, that'll line up. But uh, you're going to want to put a little Loctite in here uh, when you do that. I'm not doing it now for the video, but um, just so you guys know. That, all right, second, uh, second thing you'll do, once you remove the, the small little casting there, um, if you're rebuilding an oil pump, you're going to want to check out uh, these two bores here uh, to make sure, well, it'll be this bore and the bore on here, uh, to make sure they're not all scuffed up. And then two, you're going to check out uh, for how bad of wear you've had on that uh, from when the gears, if it pool bearing material around and on the back side of this housing you'll see a lot of wear um, on this part that you'll want to check out um, but okay so now that we've checked out our pump we can go back into the install mode here first thing I usually do is uh, well after we've checked it all out I just take some some brad pen oil here really like this stuff kind of fill in uh, yeah, just get it enough where it'll create some suction when you, uh, you start to turn over your motor pop in the, uh, the shaft here goes in kind of like so and it should be very very fluid when you spin it and uh, then we'll take the uh, stubby shaft here now you don't have to line up the alignment marks I just do it because I think it's professional and it should be done so you'll have it like that and I'll look just like this and then once you have this part done you uh, oil in here like so put your uh, cover on like that, if I can get this thing kind of popped out on me, hold on a second. So, put this back on here, like so, and then there'll be two little dowel pins you line up and squish it in, and there we go, you can see how fluid that is. Now there's the five bolts that I took out earlier that go on here. I'm only going to put one in for the video because I don't have a ton of time on this thing, and I want you guys to be able to see uh, the next step here. So we'll fasten this sucker down just so it doesn't wobble everywhere. Okay, and it should feel kind of like that. Make make a little bit of oil noise there. Um, all right, now we're on to the castle plug. This is where most oil leaks occur, in my opinion. Don't quote me on that, everybody. But in my opinion, most oil leaks occur here. Um, we put in the O-ring, and then you'll use this castle plug. I really like to put just a little bit of RTV on this just to ensure a little bit more sealing um, but if you put too much in it's going to get inside of the oil pump so you don't want to put a lot in in the video I'm not putting any on that'll go on like that then you'll be taking I like to take a screwdriver uh, tighten it down there is a special tool you can use to torque it I'm not doing that in the video just showing you how that half of the oil pump goes together so there you should have it and uh, very last on the list is we have the uh, plug. 
Now, when your oil pump comes in, there'll be this oil seal here that you uh, basically remove, and then you'll insert your plug there. Now, uh, we like to use a two-part epoxy uh, to put this down. If you, it'll press in slightly. If you do it too harsh, uh, you have a chance of cracking this thing. Um, I usually use a hammer and just really lightly tap it down with the epoxy, and, and that should hold, and that'll keep the oil from coming out of this hole. Now once you have this plug on, um, nice and secure and you let it dry, your oil pump is now finished and um, you can work on the block by putting in the block off of variants. So I, I think we've covered everything. If you need any help on this, I've got a tech article on our website and uh, it's got five or six paragraphs of exactly what we do here. Um, I think that wraps it up for today. Uh, feel free to check out our second video coming out. I'll probably, I'll probably make it right after this one. So, but yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, we appreciate your guys' business. Thank you very much.